Joining us now is Alex Malzone, 2015 four-star recruit. He spent the last three years at Michigan and will be grad transferring to Miami, Ohio, where he will have two years of eligibility to play under head coach Chuck Martin. Alex, thanks so much for joining us. Yeah, happy to be here. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Glad to have you, Alex. So let's think back to when you were a high school recruit. So you committed to Michigan leading up to Brady Hope's final year when the program was a little bit more uh, turmoil, and then there was a coaching change uh, right before you end up enrolling at Michigan. So talk about that senior year of yours in high school. Did you ever think about looking at any other schools uh, given the uncertainty at the coaching position at Michigan? Yeah, I uh, definitely I did. I mean, I know uh, I committed my junior year, uh, May, going into my uh, senior football season. Uh, I was recruited under Brady Hoke and uh, Coach Nussmeyer. Mm -hmm. um, and I know that throughout the year they weren't doing well. And I was definitely in contact with uh, some other colleges during that time. Uh, they were kind of just asking me if I was going to stay committed or if I would visit other schools or what exactly would happen if Coach Hoke would be fired. Um, I told every single one of them that uh, my commitment was, was pretty solid. Uh, I had a good relationship with Coach Nussmeyer. And then obviously when the season started going south, uh, there's a lot of rumors saying that Coach Hoke was going to get fired, uh, which he eventually did. Um, and then once Coach Harbaugh, he was uh, announced new head coach, um, I was scheduled to enroll early there in January 2015, probably about two, three weeks. Um, so it's kind of he got announced. I talked to him uh, about three days later after he was made the head coach, and yeah, um, decided to enroll early still. Um, so yeah. Right, so talk about that uh, transition from being recruited by one staff, and then you have this new coach come in. What was your first experience like with Coach Jim Harbaugh when you took that first phone call from him? Um, I mean, I know he had a pretty uh, pretty great background coming back. From the uh, from Stanford and the 49ers, um, so I was excited to get working with him. Um, I know the whole Michigan team. Um, right when I got on campus, was pretty excited for him as well. Mm -hmm. um, at the time coming in, there was only two quarterbacks on scholarship, which were uh, Roland Spate and Shane Morris. So I mean that spring, uh, for spring ball got a lot of reps, which went uh, which went great. And uh, yeah, I mean I was a part of uh, some good teams here and saw minimal time, but uh, yeah, I mean, I definitely loved my uh, three years that I was here for. And Alex, you'll be graduating from Michigan in April, then transferring to Miami, Ohio. Tell us about that decision. Yeah, um, so I mean, I know uh, the grad transfer, it's pretty common nowadays with a lot of guys. Um, I was fortunate enough to uh, be allowed to uh, grad, uh, not grad transfer, but early enroll here from high school early. Um, and then I majored in econ. It's been pretty difficult, but was able to graduate in three and a half years, and I'll have two years left. Um, but I was kind of just looking for somewhere where uh, I would get more of a shot um, to play, and I know Miami, Ohio is definitely going to be uh, that place. Um, they're a great school academically. Mm -hmm. um, Miami, Ohio is one of the schools that recruited me out of high school heavily with uh, Coach Martin and Coach Kaler. And yeah, I'm definitely excited for that opportunity. And uh, I think it's gonna be a great fit. Well, you mentioned that you were looking for somewhere to play. What other schools were you, um, were options for you? And what does that process of selecting a school to transfer to look like? Yeah, so I, I announced um, kind of right after the year, um, I think it was December. Uh, so what, about a month, month and a half ago, uh, two months ago. And early on, I had talked to Iowa State, Boston College a little bit, um, but kind of didn't really talk to them towards the end. Um, when it came down to it, it's like Miami, Ohio, Rice University, and Coastal Carolina. Um, I had a visit lined up with Rice University and uh, was probably going to visit Coastal Carolina as well. Um, but, I mean, it's different from, like, being recruited out of high school because I know it's kind of with timing and, I mean, they kind of have like their one and their two and their three, and there's going to be guys going there every weekend. Um, so just after my visit at Miami, uh, definitely found a great connection with the coaching staff there. Uh, the facilities were unbelievable, and uh, they definitely had a couple of great graduate programs that I was interested in. So I knew that was definitely the right fit, and uh, yeah, decided to commit. 
So when you think about Miami's quarterback situation, we've got Gus Ragland took over last year. He's got another year of eligibility in 2018. With two years of eligibility, what do you uh, expect as far as a competition aspect? Are you going into this uh, next season uh, expecting to compete for the role, or are you biding your time until 2019? Yeah, I mean, I know uh, anywhere I was going to go, there's going to be a little competition. Um, and I know I've been used to that here. Uh, my freshman year, uh, Jake Rudock came in, and, yeah, I was kind of told I was going to redshirt. Uh, but the following two years, there was uh, a little bit of competition each year. And, uh, yeah, I didn't win either of those competitions. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm excited to get down there and uh, get things rolling. Um, I know uh, the offense definitely suits me. And I know uh, Gus has done a great job with the offense down there, uh, being a playmaker for them and being a leader. Um, so, I mean, I'm excited to get down there and uh, compete. And, yeah, I guess we'll see what happens. So, one last question just about your time at Michigan. So, Wilton Spate and yourself are moving on, but Dylan McCaffrey, Brandon Peters, and now Shea Patterson are, are going to be battling for the quarterback position in Michigan next year. What do Michigan fans, what should they, could they expect from those three players from what you've seen both as a teammate and now in the last few weeks with Shea Patterson coming on campus? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I definitely have a really good relationship, uh, relationship with uh, Wilton Spate and Brandon Peters. Uh, played along Wilton ever since I got here and played along against uh, BP uh, for, what, two years now. Mm -hmm. And definitely highly respect those guys. I know Wilton's going to go somewhere and do big things. Uh, BP, I know he came in there and got a shot this year and uh, played very well. Uh, bowl game kind of went south in the second half. But, I mean, that's football. Those things happen. Uh Dylan, he's definitely a very athletic player and a very smart kid. So, I mean, I'm excited to see what he can do in the future. Um, so, I mean, just going into next year, I know it's pretty much an open battle right now. And uh, Pep Hamilton and uh, Coach Drevno are going to be coming back. Uh, I know Brandon definitely has a good relationship with those two. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, last year our offensive production wasn't very high. Um, but, I mean, I think that BP can kind of go into the spring and in the summer with uh, somewhat of a leadership role and kind of get uh, those guys to rally around him. I know Shea's a great player. Um, I actually played baseball with Shea when we were younger. Um, oh, really? Back in uh, middle school, we were playing a pretty uh, pretty high travel uh, travel baseball team. Um, so, I, mean, I know that he's, uh, he's a great athlete, and he's mm -hmm. definitely going to be a serious contender. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I'm excited. I know that it's going to be a competition between the QB room, and uh, they will obviously play the best guy. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just super excited to see what the team can do. Um, mm -hmm. I know this year uh, our production, and we kind of folded a little bit. Uh, but I'm excited to see what the young guys can do and uh, super excited for them for next year. And finally, Alex, you'll be a grad student at Miami, Ohio. What do you plan on getting your master's degree in? Uh, so I'm actually applying to the Masters of Economics through the uh, School of Business there. Um, I kind of was pressed with time with uh, the application. I got a couple more days that I got to finish it by. Uh, currently working on it now. Um, so that's a one-year program, and it's mm -hmm. a pretty highly regarded program. They only accept 20 people. Uh, so I'm excited to uh, apply to that and hopefully get into that one. Uh, and then the year after that, I would actually do another graduate program, I would probably be doing um, the Masters of Political Science. That's, uh, that's the plan right now, at least. You're going to be a busy bee. Well, his name is Alex Melzone. He spent the last two, three years at Michigan, and he will be a graduate transfer to Miami, Ohio, where he will be eligible for the next two seasons. Alex, best of luck to you, and thanks so much for joining us. Yep. Yeah, thank you guys very much for having us, having me.